Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are going to come out of the book of Jude. You know what's funny? The Lord never really has me do the series. But I've been doing a series with end time, noon time, and the last couple of yeah, Sundays have been kind of following the um the scriptures, certain books of the scriptures, and he has been bouncing us around, which is really interesting because. I know he's trying to download as much information as he can get in, in a short amount of time. It's like we're on a, you know when you take a master class and they do a, a speedy teaching on a subject? Mm -hmm. This is what we've been on. A lot of people don't get it, but we've really been on a fast-paced learning. Fast track. Yes, fast track teaching. All right, y'all, Jude. It's only one chapter. Page 850 if you're using one of the church parts. Jude, chapter 1. And when you're there, say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I read New King James, and the subtitle says, Apostates Predicted. These are grumblers, complainers, walking according to their own lusts and they mouth great swelling words flattering people to gain advantage but you beloved remember the words which were spoken before by the apostles of our lord jesus christ how they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own ungodly lusts. These are sensual persons who cause divisions, not having the spirit. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And on some have compassion, making a distinction, but others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment defiled by the flesh. This is the reading of the word. Father God, I want to thank you for making it plain. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you've allowed me to decrease and you've increased. Father, I was a wretch, worthless, and full of evil, deceptive, and worldly. And you gave me the opportunity to get cleaned up you gave me an offering, your son and his love, and I accepted it. Father, I pray today be a pivotal moment in someone else's life. I pray that this scripture that we are going to digest today, that it will fill us today with a spiritual food that satisfies a craving. A lot of us are searching for things, seeking things, and we can't quite figure out how to satisfy it. But I pray that this be it today, Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit continuously keep the dome of protection over this church, over the members of our church. Father, a holy ring of fire continuously burn around this property. Father, 
I thank you for allowing me to dispatch a legion of angels from the north, south, east, and west. Warring angels, ministering angels, protective angels, and healing angels. Father, we call on your name. Yes, Father. Because there is no name above the name of Yeshua. The blood of the Lamb over the doorpost. Thank you for your watchmen that have been assigned to the front door and the back door. Father, we cancel the assignments of those that have conjured up spells and incantations. The witches and warlocks, dust blowers and soothsayers, sorcerers and rulers of darkness. They have no authority in this house or over the people of God that belong to this house. You and you alone reign this entire world. The, the galaxies, the seen and the unseen. We honor you today, Lord. I ask that you will completely get me out the way and you bring this word forth. Father, we honor you. We honor you. We honor you. Yes, Father. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, we give it all glory, all honor, and all praise today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And if you all touch and agree, say thank God. Thank God. And amen. Amen. You may be seated. You've got to praise. Come on, God. wrong way a little lazy we're praising God we need to really be mindful of when we you know have the opportunity to praise God we should be praising him yes that's like somebody do something nice for you and then you be like oh whatever and then eventually they're gonna be like I'm not doing that nice for you no more right because you ain't even acknowledging me you guys got to remember, God wants a personal relationship with us. And that's how he receives us and responds to us, is by how we treat him. Amen? Amen. Today's title was good. <laughs> Today's title of this message is Tricks of the Enemy. Counterintelligence of the Holy Spirit. Ooh. Tricks of the enemy. Counterintelligence of the Holy Spirit. We're dealing with the brother of Jesus, Jude, who in the beginning identifies himself first as a bond servant of Jesus. He doesn't even mention he's a brother. He says, I'm a bond servant of Jesus. And then he says, and I'm the brother of James. Like, he did not want anybody to get it convoluted that he had more favor because he was Jesus' brother. He wanted to address the fact that I served this man. Even though he was my biological brother, I served this man. Amen. See, some of us got an issue with serving people. So we always got this fine line where we look at the person and be like, I ain't serving them. I ain't helping them. I'm not... But you're not serving that person. Mm -hmm. You're serving the spirit That's right. in that person. That's right. And I applaud you for identifying the difference. Because it makes a huge difference when you look at it as, I'm not serving the apostle, the pastor. I am serving the, 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 the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The living God, 
through a vessel that he chose. Jude is talking to the chosen and he's explaining to the chosen that y'all need to step your game up. You need to be paying attention. There's a lot of things going on that you have not been watching, right? So he says, I'm going to tell you of some things to be very, very mindful of. So he's letting the chosen know that they're going to be apostates. That they're coming. They're going to be around you. They're going to be, as he describes in verse 16, these are grumblers. How many of us know some grumblers? Uh -huh. I know a lot. <laughs> Complainers. Ooh, I know a lot. Walking according to their own lusts. I know a lot. Come on, am I the only one that know a lot? No. no. Well, give me some feedback. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Talk to me. I talk back. <laughs> I know some. Saw her yesterday and I was like, bye. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and, and they mouth great swelling words. They say a whole lot without saying nothing. They just talking to be talking. Huh? Flattering people. To gain advantage. What are they trying to gain advantage of? You. They talking to make you impressed. To get you to start doubting you. To get you to get distracted off of your assignment. Your calling. You ever, you ever talk to somebody and all of a sudden you're like, I wish I could have that. I wish I, wish I lived like that. I wish... I wish I could do that. Come on, be honest. I did. I used to do that a lot. Amen. I'd be talking to people at my job and be like, well, what happened to me? How did I end up like this? Can we keep it real? Yes. This is a perfect example of this. Okay? And he goes on to say, but... Beloved, remember the words which were spoken before by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so, beloved, Jude is continuing to expose the tricks of the enemy. And he is making it so very plain and so very clear of what and who the enemy will be like and what they would do. I just gave you a huge clue as to what kind of characteristics does these people walk around with. Mm -hmm. So as soon, I don't care if it's your mom, your kid, your uncle, your best friend at work, if they are grumblers, complainers, they walk around to their own lust, and when you say lust, it's not just sexual. It could be anything they want. They want what they want. They want to get what they want to get. They might lust after a certain car. They might lust after a certain position in the company. They might lust after your room that you live in a house. I want her room. Let's switch rooms. Anybody ever had that happen? Yeah. Seriously, this is real life. Right? So, and then they're always talking about they're so much better than everybody else. They make it seem like they got it all together. But really, if they took the, 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 the suit off that they're wearing, that flesh suit, straight demon. Straight, straight, straight demon. No, I need y'all to hear me. Straight demon. If they're not connected to God, they're demonic. 
They got demonic possession or oppression. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You either dark or you light. Am I right? Yes. So, what? Now this is gonna sound bad. But when I look at people now, I just look. I'm like, okay, am I talking to a, a, a man of God or is this a demon? <laughs> no, for real. That's right. Then I know how to deal That's with right. you. That's right. Do I give you zero of my energy, or do I take the time? Wow to invest and then if I talk to this person because you can't just be like you a demon I ain't talking to you <laughs> right you can't do that right but you will hear them trying to lure you into conversation right and then you you listening and you're like okay they're trying to flatter me with all this Oh, I love God. I want to be on a praise team. I want to do outreach. I want to do, uh, uh, I want to paint the building. I want to do the gardening. I want to do children's church. I want to do this. I want to do that. Right? And then you like, okay. Because at first you'd be like, wow, that's wonderful. But then you're looking at this dude going, you up to something. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you up to something. Because that demon that peeped out. I told you the demons be doing me like this. <laughs> I ain't lying. I am not lying. There was a movie we watched. Um, what was the name of that movie? And I don't watch movies, y'all. It was a Mexican yeah, lady. That, I think that was us. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't think of it. Cry. The, 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 the. Wasn't it Pray? La Llorona? No. no. Yeah. What is it? What does that mean? What was the name of it? Crying woman. What was it? It's about her losing her children. No, no, no. no the, the lady was like a, a, a reporter. Uh -huh. She went to the cave, and, and, and they ended up pulling her in, and then they were doing... Anyway, long story short, they they realized that the the young lady had a demon in her. She was a, a reporter, but she went back to her hometown to die. She wanted to commit suicide by ODing. Huh? Old Ways was the movie. If y'all can watch that, pray before you watch it. It will it will give you a clear description of a lot of the things that I do in the spirit realm. A lot. Like I can walk in like, oh, something is off. Oh, something is at the door. Because the girl in the video, in the movie, the demon looked at her through her through the other person's eye. And you could see. This entity's face looking. So when I tell you they peek at me and they look at me, they really be looking at me. They will be in somebody's eye and peek out from behind their retina. And you'll see, I'll see a whole body, a whole miniature body standing behind their eyeball. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true, right? And then I'll identify. I see you, and you guys have heard me. I see you, witch. I see you, demon. Right? How many of y'all have heard me say that? Right? So, they expose themselves. And when you have spiritual gifts, that you have come to the place where you listen to God about the tricks of the enemy because see the enemy been tricking all of us all our lives and we were part of that we were we were with the okie doke right I know I was I was with the shenanigans I love to do some dirty stuff right come on Ricky he know he was like auntie when I seen you give your life to God I knew God was real am I lying Come on, right? So the enemy 
has all these tricks that he uses. And so Jude is explaining, look, I'm going to make it clear. These are some things you need to look out for. That's a big clue right there. Grumblers, complainers, right? Walking around according to what, everything is always about what they need, what they want. A narcissist is a good example. Nothing you do can ever be right. They just got to have it their way, right? And they're always puffing up themselves. And then when you get around other people, that this is a, tri a true narcissist. They get around, oh my God, you're just so beautiful and helpful. And anything you need from me, you need me to cut down your trees. You need me to put a new roof. I got you. I got you. Right? And you sitting over there like, I can't even get you to take the garbage out. Why is you lying to her like that? But that, am I lying, y'all? That's what they do. They get around other people, and they make other people think they're so wonderful. So helpful and wonderful. Huh? Honda, wait a minute. First of all, don't brag. Don't boast. God hates a bragger and a boaster, right? So... That right there, that should have took off about 75% of the people you know. <laughs> right, right. Come on, y'all. Maybe even 80. Maybe even 80. All right? Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with yourself. Keep it real. Because you do yourself a big favor. You come on. Or you go to work and you be like, oh yeah, you one of them demons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now you know how much energy to give them. Right. You realize, I don't have to keep dealing with you like that. If you work with them, what, what, what are we working on? Okay, great. Beyond that, that extra, stop giving it to them. You ain't obligated to give nobody nothing but God. Amen. Nobody nothing but God. Right? Okay, so this is this is quite easy. Cause when you think of it this way, it's easy to recognize the enemies of God. But our problem is we don't want to see that. Mm -hmm. Let me put my glasses on backwards. <laughs> I just see what I saw. Come on, y'all. That ain't right. That ain't right. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Right? I don't want to see it. No. La 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 la. La 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 la. What? Right in your face. Right. Am I lying? No. Wait, what, why do we do that? And then we want somebody to feel sorry for me. You know, they just they just talk bad about me. They just dog me out again. They just stole all my money. They told my car up. They they Dude, they did that six months ago. <laughs> Like, what's wrong with you? Why is you going around in circles? What you all known to somebody that ain't got your best interest at heart? You, oh, you must be in the S&M. You know that people do S&M, they like getting beat up for no reason. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, tell the truth. You 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 want me to whoop you? I I I'll whoop you. I ain't got no problem. Matter of fact, I done did that in my former life. Come on, y'all. Why do we let people beat us up like that? Tricks of the enemy. Do you want the counterintelligence of the Holy Spirit, or you don't? Yeah. It's either a clear yes or a clear no. You want to continue to be a victim? Then guess what? Be my guest. I'm not going to be the victim. 
I'm not going to let you victimize me. I'm going to see what, whether it's my, my children, my husband, my father, my brother, whoever. I'm going to look at them and I'm going to say, okay, this person right here is definitely a deficit in my life. They're not adding anything for me. They're not doing it. Yes, I'm related by blood. Fine. Everywhere in the Bible, God separated the people from the families. You know why? Because the family was holding them back. <coughs> the family doesn't want you to see your potential. They see you gifted and light and bright and, 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 and on your way. Oh, you know, you ain't college material. You know, you ain't never going to get no rich husband. Look at the family you came from. You ain't that smart. Oh, you might have got a couple A's in school, but you ain't that smart. Am I talking to anybody? Yes. That's how you know the devil is in the vicinity. Because this is what he does. When y'all come to church, what do you get? Do you get, uh, 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 uh. If, it's, if it is a correction, is it a correction to tear you down or is it a correction for you to look at it and fix it and then go forward? It's always about trying to make you go forward, do better, get get something more, uh, 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 uh. More to benefit your outcome, right? So you got to understand that they always try to impress you to believe that they got it going on. Then we better watch out for these fake Christians. They try to make you believe that they holy and that they're following Christ, but nothing about the fruit that they produce looks like or tastes like the fruit of God's spirit. Amen? Amen. We see rotten fruit, huh? Rotten fruit that has been uh, presented to look good. They come up and they act like they got it all together. And unfortunately, unfortunately, folks have forgotten what true fruit really looks like and have settled for the fake fruit and the tricks of the enemy. Mm -hmm. I remember somebody gave me a real banana and I said, what in the world is this? <laughs> this ain't no banana. This is a real banana. Small with little black seeds in it. Yeah. Okay, and they're really good. Who said that? They're really good. Yes, they are. Okay. The fruit, watermelon, with the seeds. Excellent. They done took seeds out of everything. Because they're making fake fruit. They're making fake results. But because we don't know what real fruit looks like, we running around saying, ooh, this is good. <laughs> Y'all following me now? Yeah. See, you got to know what the real is and start acknowledging what this word is teaching and putting the puzzle pieces together. So many people been looking at rotten fruit so long, it now looks good to them. Mm -hmm. That was good. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That was good fruit. Mm -hmm. Even though they've had a full description of what the fruit is supposed to look like. The banana is about three to four inches long, has little black seeds, very, very sweet. The peel is kind of like a brownish tan color. Now we got these long old seven to eight inch bananas that are yellow that the inside is white with nothing in the middle. And you only get four of the little ones, you get like 10. Janae right. was talking about that yesterday, about the fruit, Janae. Right? So guess what? You get a real fruit, 
And now you're rejecting it because you want the faith food. Uh -oh. That's right. We've been, I told you, everything right is wrong and everything wrong is right. Uh -huh. So you didn't, you didn't, you didn't start falling for the okie doke. You want the lie. So you be around somebody who has been around somebody all their life that has been a grumbler, a complainer, you're going to still choose to sit up under them. Because you're afraid of the opposite. That's all you know. You're, you're not able to let go of the complainers. You're not able to shut down those that talk crazy to you. You're not able to stop listening to the fake promises and fake lies that have been so full of deceit and trickery and everything about their life has been based on Deception and pulling, uh oh, pulling the true light bearers out of their place. You are a true light bearer. And what they're doing is they're trying to steal your light. All right. They don't want you to shine brighter than them. They don't want you to go anywhere higher than them. They don't want you to get any bigger uh, 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 opportunities than them. You ever tell somebody some good news and then they act, they don't act happy? Uh-huh. And you like, hey, what's wrong with you? Why ain't you right. happy for right. me? Right. Mm -hmm. right. And then they turn it into something about themselves. Uh -huh. Am I right? Yes. So is that somebody you think you should have around you? No. So why you got them around you? Are we codependent? No. We need a fix. We we need to stay connected to that garbage. Because you don't need it. Because if you really seek God, He'll give you, He'll fill the missing voice. He'll fill it up. You won't need them extra people. I do good by myself. I'm gonna be like, you sure you all right? I could be in my office for hours. I like solitude. Amen. Anybody else in here like being by themselves? Yes. Huh? I love it. I really love it. Because I know when I go around people, they're 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 pulling. They're drawing from me. But when I was a babe in Christ, I didn't understand it and it scared me. So I kept asking God. I remember telling my pastor, why every time I pray for the people, I go home and I would go home and pass out for like three, four hours. We would come home from church and I would lay down and we would be out. And then this was the this was the um, response. Well, you shouldn't be tired. The Holy Spirit is the one doing the work. But it's through you. So I kept thinking it was something wrong with me. I kept thinking, what am I doing wrong? You see how that little one thing, and I'm looking at this is somebody who's a pastor. You should know better. But that wasn't the right answer. It was because there were so many people that were pulling my light, my resource. That it was draining me physically. Y'all ever been around somebody who drained you physically? Yes. Just from a conversation? Yes. So that, I'm, I'm going to rest my case right there. So those of you that didn't believe that we are electrical and, 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 and spiritual beings, there's your proof right there. Right. You get around folks that drain from you. How do you explain that if you're not a spiritual being? Amen. Who saw the 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 the, the um, end time, new time, supernatural God created supernatural beings? The series. How many of y'all watched it? Did you watch all of it? Mm -hmm. If you didn't watch it, I suggest. You know how y'all be like, girl, you better watch that Netflix. <laughs> girl, did you see that on? 
Y'all need to go watch. Yes, that prayer was one. You need to go watch it. Amen. Because it's going to explain a whole lot about you that you never knew about you. We be so quick. I'm going to go to this seminar. I'm going to go to this conference. I'm going to go pay a shrink to talk to me for five hours. I'm going to go pay for somebody to... It's free. Amen. It's free here. I gave it. Like God said, freely I give. Freely receive it. You want to go into the next level of your life, watch the series. It'll blow your mind. Amen. Because we did an experiment with rice. Yes. Three jars of rice. Spoke to one. Oh, you're beautiful. I love you. The next one, I hate your guts. And the next one, we didn't say nothing to it. And I think it was like a month, three weeks or something. The one that we said we loved was just as white, nice. The one we said we hated was funky and, and, and moldy. And the one we ignored was almost black. Real experiment. Okay? And that goes to show if somebody's constantly talking to you negatively, you're made of, a, of, of about almost 75% water. So if I'm constantly talking to your energy in your body, telling you you ain't right, you're nothing. You're ugly. And they ain't got to use those words. Oh, my God, can you do anything right? Oh, my God, why do I got to do everything for you? Oh, my God, don't you listen? They're speaking negative to your essence, your being. And before you know it, you're creating this black mass in your body. Trick of the enemy. He's trying to... Make your fruit rotten. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So when you're around, around these complainers and drainers, and th th you need to identify who you working with. Because everything about their life is a lie. It's a deception to keep your light from shining. Those who are light bearers are really a part of the foundation of Christ Jesus. And those that are really light bearers are targets. There are those that want to pull you apart. They want to pull you deeper and deeper and deeper into the lies and the tricks of the enemy. And when we complain, we are saying, God, you're not good enough for me. See, we get to the place where we've allowed people to speak this over us so much that now we're like, yeah, God, you're not all that. Yeah, God, if you really wanted to help me, then why am I still in this position? Yeah, God, you did it for everybody else, but you ain't doing it for me. Y'all follow me? Dangerous, right? Very dangerous. But that's what the enemy is doing. The trick of the enemy is to get you to start complaining that God ain't good enough. And then, when we do that, we are literally in his face. Refusing to acknowledge that God is almighty. When we allow the enemy to draw us into that, huh? We, we, we're looking God in the face like, you ain't all that. You ain't really God. Folks are focusing on complaints. And they drag innocent believers into a trap of defying and denying and disrespecting the Most High God. And many around you, oh, I hate to tell y'all this. But many people around you are purposely trying to extinguish the light in you. All right. How many of y'all have picked up on that? Like, wow, you really don't want me to be better. You really don't want me to do better. 
You really don't want me to be blessed on my own. See, they want to extinguish the light in you. Does anybody know somebody that is never satisfied with you and always tearing you down with no intent of trying to build you up? Anybody? Am I talking to anybody today? Amen. See, these people find pleasure in spreading discord and they want to dissect you and they want to tear down the word of God and they want to tear down God's people and they're not even trying to hide their dangerous tongue or their hatred or their lies by disguising it uh uh because they'll hit you with this one well let's keep them in prayer mm -hmm. we should pray for them Or they'll tell you, well, you know, God showed me this. What do you think about that? Then they wait to hear what you say. And that's the very thing they needed to hear. So now they know what to pray against that person. They use it as weaponry. They know you got the light. How many of y'all realize this, folks? Keep going. So what do you think about that? What do you feel about that? What do you think she said? What do you think that means? Well, what the hell do you think it means? <laughs> what do you what did you get out of it? Flip it back. That's right. Stop answering. Flip it back. What do you think that meant? Mm -hmm. What did you get out of it? See, the devil is tricky. Mm -hmm. Y'all getting anything out of this yet? Yeah. Come on now. Trying to put holes in God's words. Well, that ain't really what that means. God didn't say do it like that. We can do it like this. Cherry picking what they want to obey and what they want to purposely ignore and leave out. I don't have to listen. We, 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 we really don't have to do that. I mean, we went to church. We can still drink. We can still smoke. I can still watch porn. It's cool. But you letting in the spirit of porn -a. Huh? Asmosteus and Astra and all them ancient demons and don't even understand. You've unlocked your gates to see this and now it's turned you into a villain. It's turned you into a sexual predator. It's turned you into a maniac. All you think about all day long is sex, 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 sex. You can't stop thinking about it. Because you've opened up Pandora's box. How do you get healed? You got to get deliverance. Amen. You got to close the door. Oh, there's nothing wrong with watching pornography. Married couples that watch pornography end up in divorce. Because they can't satisfy each other mentally. See, when you be with somebody, everybody, y'all think it's about wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That ain't what it's about. Because when you really be with somebody and you make love to them mentally, you on a whole nother stratosphere. And young men, just because you got a little Willy Walker and you think you can put it in something, <laughs> trust and believe, baby, you ain't doing nothing, but you're ejecting your life force. Every time you let go of a seed, you just lost five years off your life. You're depleting your livelihood. Okay, y'all don't believe me? How about this? Anybody know these OG cats that was players back in the day? Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. They used to be the best dressed, finest wine, got the best cars, the baddest broads. Now. Fat and long. Shriveled up. <laughs> walking around. Hey, <laughs> player. <laughs> How you doing? Let, let, let your boy hold something. <laughs> Come on, man. You know I'm good for it. You know I'm good for it. Come on, man. Come on, Bro, me. You know me. I'm Big Willie D. Back in the day. No. You used to be. <laughs> Am I lying? No. no. She preaches 
the day, huh? But you, young men, are running around throwing your seed away. Wasting it. Fools. Straight fools. Sorry, not sorry. The enemy is using you to waste what was a precious gift. And that's how he does all of us. We don't recognize how valuable we are. We don't. And so the enemy is, is manipulating. But I came by today to teach you some counterintelligence. Amen. Huh? Because he ain't whooping on me no more. Amen. I'm identifying my demons. I'm identifying folks that don't mean me no good. I'm identifying those that are secretly out to cause havoc and harm. No more accepting the lies. That's the first thing you got to stop doing. Stop accepting people's lies. See them for who they really are. Stop trying to make them be what you want them to be. That's where you're messing up at. How did you get the idea that this man is supposed to be, you know, Rico Suave, work at work a nine to five, and be Mr. Romance, and he ain't even got a job. But in your mind, you done made him be all these wonderful things. And so now you're angry because he's not. But you knew who you was dealing with when you got with him. All right. So why are you trying to change him? Yep. Vice versa. Men, you knew she was loose when you met her. <laughs> you know, it's an old saying. What's your name, baby? Yeah. Andrew. Andrew. I hope they warned you to say no regular church. Because <laughs> we keep it real up in here. You can't turn a housewife, a, a, a hoe into a housewife. That one. If she ain't been delivered and she ain't been converted and you think you won't get a little twerky twerk, jerky jerk to being a good girl. <laughs> Baking pies with that little apron on. <laughs> Twitching in the kitchen. Twitching in the kitchen. <laughs> Bending over. Putting a smile on your face. Baby. Baking that yeast. She said it, I did. Listen. You knew what you was dealing with before you got with her. Now all of a sudden, cause she fine, she didn't stimulated your little parts, and you want to make her into something she's not. Start looking at people for what they really are, beloved. Amen. This is the best advice I can give you. Be true to yourself. Yeah. All right. Yes. Stop dealing with people, cause you think they something they ain't. You know how much time you will stop wasting. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much further? Because that person is blocking you from the person that God intended to put you on your path. Amen? Amen. So, these people are dealing with lies and trickeries, right? The tricks of the enemy is so good that he wants you to cherry pick and ignore what God wants you to do. But see, you all have been matured enough spiritually right. to see the tricks of the enemy. You have been matured enough to no longer accept the lies. And the Holy Spirit has begun already teaching you counterintelligence. All right. The apostles spoke just as the prophets spoke. They forewarned the people of God as to watch for these that are evil. Who will use tricks of the enemy to befriend you, infiltrate you, and infiltrate the house of God. They will come in and destroy the body of Christ, 
for the prince of darkness. The apostles foretold that as the days drew closer, huh, they would not endure sound doctrine, but according to their desires. They would be mockers in the last time, in the last days, in the last hours. Is it happening? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They would be walking according to their own ungodly lusts. Let me give you a couple examples. We have church denominations right now who allow men to be married to a man to be a shepherd over a congregation. A bishop and his first man. Come on, somebody. You got women who are now, quote, married to a woman and they're pastor and first lady. It ain't right. It didn't snuck in. And they're polluting the congregation. Many have been led astray. Remember what we talked about a couple was last week or week before by strange flesh and strange fruit. And they have even fallen so low that despite knowing these things are wrong, they still continue to cherry pick what they will follow and what they will believe. And then all the while they're still mocking the Most High God by living contrary to what God told them to follow. All right. Satan has literally opened up a pit that he has been digging deeper and deeper and deeper day by day by day for those who are not listening to the Holy Spirit. But those that are listening will have spiritual discernment to destroy the works of the enemy. Those who critique you and your walk with God are men of godly, of excuse me, are men of ungodly nature. You get around people and they want to question everything about your church, your belief, what you doing, why, what, what, do you think that's of God? No. Or is that ungodly? Acknowledge it. Be real with yourself. Amen. Quit lying. Understand what you're dealing with. This person is ungodly nature. You got folks around you fornicating and abusing substances for heightened pleasure. They get stimulation through music and through videos and movies, alcohol and foods that are known to be an abomination to God, but yet they still lure other folks away from God and they cause division. Come eat this. Come watch this with me. Here, listen to this. I told my husband that the other day, he showed me something. I said, don't do that to me again. He's like, what? I said, you just show me somebody in, a, in being unalived. I said, I wasn't ready for that. I didn't want to see that. I don't want that in my psyche. All right. Are y'all listening? Amen. Amen. Everything ain't meant to be seen. That's right. I said, don't do that to me again. I wasn't, hey, babe, look at this. And I see somebody die in front of me. I'm like, why would you show me that? And don't warn me. It was an accident. It was like a car accident. Like, why would you show? And I've been telling him, what, 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 do I want to really see this? So now I have to ask him that. Do I really want to see this? Are, are y'all getting something out of this? Because this is how the enemy works. 
He'll use somebody without them even thinking mm -hmm. to show you something to plant a seed right. through your gate. Didn't intend to do that, but that's what it was doing. That's what it was doing. Your boys send you a video and you open it up and it's... <laughs> Why are you sending me this? Dude, you out of pocket. And you young people, them, them, them D pics that y'all. <laughs> yes, I did. Because you know when you young women that do it too, do you understand those pictures are going into prisons? Right, and everybody. And, and and imagine your little cute face with your little cute outfit, and you got hardcore <laughs> prisoners pleasuring themselves with your picture. Ask me how I know. Because I know. I know a few people that have told me, hey, you got any friends? Tell them to send me a picture. Mm -hmm. Huh? You freak. I ain't sending you nothing. You don't even know these people. Mm -hmm. But your picture done floated through oblivion. Why just send it to one person? One person is like a hundred people. Yeah, that's right. Because that's right. you think they ain't showing you stuff? That's right. You think... Your name ain't rolling through the hood. Mm -hmm. That's why when you see people that don't know you, they be looking like side eye and you like, <laughs> girl, I done seen all your goodies. Dude, don't even come at me because you got a little ee ee. We oh, ain't playing with you. <laughs> Am I lying? I got to talk to my audience. Oh my God. Y'all young folk, I want you to be right. Amen. I could be like the priest with the collar on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm not mocking God. Who are in heaven? Mm -hmm. Hallowed be thy name. Let's just recite and repeat uh -huh. and send you on your way. As soon as you get to your to your girl's house, she been burnt you because she been messing with the dude. Or what they call it, little what, the sneaky link. I done learned a new one, y'all. What is it called, a sneaky link? Yeah. She done been messing with sneaky link, and now you burning. Yeah. You on fire? Fire! I'm I'm Lord. And it ain't the right fire. <laughs> Do you understand? In Atlanta, there was a forty-two thousand cases of of AIDS. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. That was a couple weeks ago. 42,000 cases of AIDS! And they didn't wear no masks during COVID. Huh? They didn't wear no masks during COVID because when I went out there, it was... Beloved! I'm trying to keep you safe. You catch something, you can't get rid of it. And you done ruined your whole life. Why do you think God is talking to you right now? Because he's telling you, you on a path of destruction. The tricks of the enemy is luring like the carrot. Come on and get it. Come on and taste it. Come on and eat it. Come on and smoke it. Come on and touch it. Come on and play with it. Come on and take some. Come on and try some. That's what he's doing. But God said, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Amen. You out here chasing stuff. You so busy trying to chase it, he can't even bring it to you. Mm -hmm. Right. He knocking on your door. Special delivery. Oh, he left. They gone. They been gone. He down the highway doing 110 on free. I got to get to my boo thing. God was like, I was, I was sending you. Didn't you pray last night? Didn't you ask for specifics that you wanted in your partner? And, and I was sending her to you, but you left for the counterfeit. You left for the quick, fast, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm talking mess today, y'all. So I wanna I wanna I wanna speak to the church, the real folk. See, the enemy wants to make 
you be an abomination to God. Okay? There are people around you that really don't want you to be right with God. They don't want you to have the Spirit of God. And beloved, Jude is warning to watch for the tricks of the enemy. I'm almost done. Why did God make sex good if it was wrong? Think about it. Why did he make it? Why did God make sex if it is wrong? It wouldn't, it wouldn't feel good, right? Same with food. See, these people try to live their lives as their own little G-Gods. Hence why the spirit of the living God is absent in almost all churches and people of God right now. Because they're doing it the way they want to do it. The Holy Spirit is using this particular day to not teach us to attack those who are ticking time bombs. But he's using this to teach to build yourself up. Amen. To teach yourself to build up on the most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Staying in the presence of God. And you must always, always stay in the presence of God. Amen. Now, if we think of it like this. If you got a plant that had a fresh seed and then it started to grow. But now, all of a sudden, you've been watering it. But it is being kept in a really dark place. Okay? Pay attention. You had a seed. In a plant. Started growing. You kept it watered. But you take the plant from out the sunshine and you go put it in a dark corner. What do you think is going to happen? It will begin to mildew. It will begin to rot. Huh? And, and so this brand new miracle of life. This plant, because that's a miracle of life, huh? Is going to produce darkness and not fruit. Did y'all visualize that? Yes. That's how we are. That's exactly how we are. You can't be exposed to darkness and think you're going to add a little light and it's going to grow. You got to stay in the light. Stay out of the darkness. That's right. That's because right. the enemy, amen. Yeah, yeah. The enemy, darkness is going to continue to twist God's words. Yeah. Tricking people to believing. Well, God loves me, right? Mm -hmm. Where I'm at, he knows who I am. See, the devil is hoping that you will adopt this lie. He wants you to adopt this way of thinking because it's a bold-faced lie. Beloved, keep yourselves in the love of God. Look for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. You see, some do have compassion. There are going to be people around you that do have compassion. But you are totally, totally responsible for your spiritual growth. Amen. I have compassion on the church. But if you just keep showing up and not applying anything, you're not going to grow. You're not going to get anything. Right? It's not just going to pop up on your doorstep one day. You, you, you're just not going to be like, oh, I got it. Thank you. Huh? You got to start pursuing it. And you got to start applying counterintelligence of the Holy Spirit to be in your everyday life. You got to start looking at people. You got to start looking at situations. You got to start looking at you and acknowledging, hey, is this of God or is this of the devil? Amen. It's time, beloved. Amen. Satan has infiltrated the church. 
and every department in it. He has worked diligently, huh? To destroy all of God's light bearers. Light bearers in this room, the percentage that you think you are at spiritually, would you say 50% there? 60% there? 90% there? Where are you? Think about that. You need to think about that. Because if you're not 90 and above, that means there's a lot of things in your life that you got to get rid of. And the sooner you start addressing them, the better. Because your life is being weighed down with the tricks of the enemy. And God has given you counterintelligence to change it. Amen. 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 Don't entrust your growth to anybody else but yourself. You got to pray in the Holy Spirit. You got to learn how to go to the higher realm of prayer. Amen. You've got to seek the Holy Spirit. And you've got to give your prayers uh, uh, up and ask God to bless you with the counterintelligence so you can begin to see transformation, manifestation, and acceleration in your spiritual walk. Your faith, your, your talk, your gifts, huh? Every part of you needs to show a reflection of the great I am. And you will have compassion and take a different approach walk on this journey. You will, you will seek wisdom more than you seek self-satisfaction. See, you will begin to seek counterintelligence of the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you instead of allowing yourself to just waste away to partying, feeling good, everything about the right now experience you begin to walk in clarity of who is who and what is what and who to rebuke and who to love on who to pull out of the fire and who to leave in the fire huh but never walk in this thinking you got it all figured out you got to continuously ask God to keep you under his watchful eye Amen. So we have a, a choice today, beloveds. Yeah. We either accept the assignment or we reject it. It's as simple as that. And you need to ask yourself, will you make today the day that you recognize that the enemy does got tricks? Mm -hmm. huh? Will you begin to seek the Holy Spirit for wisdom in his strategies? Yes. Huh? Yes. Do you really want the counterintelligence yes. of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Huh? Because that's what's going to elevate you in this season. Right. Need it. I simply ask the church, do, we, do you accept your mission? Yes. Yes. Access granted or access denied is going to be up to you. You decide. It's your life. Huh? And nobody else is going to fight for you the way you're going to fight for you. Yeah. See, we be so busy trying to think, oh, my my guy is going to defend me. My girl got... Ain't nobody fighting for you but you, will. Mm. Nobody. Can somebody shout today, I accept the I access accept. granted? I, I accept, accept the access granted. granted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. I pray that bless y'all. I pray it really gives you a different way of looking at things. You know, I wish I had somebody to talk to me the way I talk to y'all. Because I wouldn't have wasted so many years. I wasted a lot of time. You know what they say, I wish I would have knew now what I know now. Yeah. I really do. See, I don't, I don't need to... Uh, uh, uh.
be in a, a relationship yeah. with a dude that's going to beat, beat me up and, and keep doing it over and over and thinking, uh, the next guy, when I see the signs, as soon as, yeah, you can turn it off. As soon as I see the signs, I'm like, no, I've seen this movie before. I've seen the behavior before. I'm not letting this slip through. I'm going to nip this in the bud. Amen. Right? Saints, you are fighting for your happiness. So if you like being depressed and lonely and broken, and you can't blame it. I don't care what kind of upbringing you came out of. We can all say we have bad uh, backgrounds. Yeah. How long you going to be 65 to my mama did? <laughs> my daddy did. She's long gone. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. You got a whole new chance to do stuff different. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all still love me. Y'all love me. Father God, we come before your throne of grace today. And I want to stand in proxy for Mona. Father, the, the, the enemy is trying to attack her because he's trying to get her to convert back to her old stinking thinking and her old ways. But Father, give her supernatural endurance to declare and decree by your stripes she's healed. That she is the head and not the tail. Father, we already know that you've already orchestrated the hands of the surgeon. You are already pre-positioning that operating room. Father, operate on your daughter's mind right now. Allow her to come out from amongst them. Allow her to really understand why the enemy is after her because of the light she carries. Father, let her have your peace and your joy. Saturate that house right now, Lord. Father, as she lifts her hands, allow the spirit of the living God to flow through her body. Father, giving her a comfort. Peace be still. We bless you and we honor you, Lord. Father, give her eyes to see that when things are spoken or things are seen that triggers her into uh, uh, paying attention to how the enemy is moving, give her a counterintelligence to block and stop the enemy's plans. We bless you, Lord, and we honor you for her life. Father, you did not bring her this far to let her go, so use her in this season. Teach her how to be a mighty warrior for the kingdom of God. Father, we lift up Sister Paulette. You open up doors no man can shut. You shut doors no man can open. Father, we declare and decree that this house will be the house that you want her to live in. Amen. Father, the, the, the prolonging, the, 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 the um, ups and downs and the headache and the stress, get that out the way. The spirit of procrastination, I rebuke you. Anything that has been causing a stumbling block, whether it be on her side or on the other side, from her moving into her new place, Father, let her start her fresh season immediately. Open up a new residence that she can start fresh. Father, there's something about moving into a new place. It's like a brand new beginning. Father, we declare and decree that she will be given keys to this place. Yes. Expediently, this move will take place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we declare and decree that Joe's auntie Maureen will be covered by the blood of the lamb in that surgery. Surround her. 
from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, if there is anything that the enemy has legal access, show your daughter Maureen to come out from amongst contract with the enemy. Father, continue to use Vana, standing on the watchtower, watching over the flock, paying attention where she can be used to intercede and pray for those that are in need of prayer. Father, we trust that by your stripes, Maureen shall be healed. Lord, we call on a legion of angels to bless her with peace and comfort right here, right now. Father, we ask that you will take her from religion to a relationship with you. Yes, we give you all the glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch your people on live, Lord. I ask that those that are under the sound of my voice, that they will welcome you into their home. Welcome you into their heart. Father, fill the atmosphere with your holy ruach. We bless you. We honor you. And we thank you. Fire! In the name of the Holy Spirit! Healing, 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 healing. Spirit of healing is, is, is been released. Receive it. There's somebody else that's going through something and the Lord says you've been healed. Receive it. Receive it, receive it. You didn't even ask for prayer, but God said it's been, it's been granted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Those of you that don't have a church, don't get a church on your welcome to send me a, a, a message. Um, if you need further prayer, send me a message. Amen. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. Is there anybody in the house that would like prayer?